Hi, Robin with OxyDry, and I'm almost done this uh, commercial job. I've been doing this repeatedly for oh, more than five years, almost 10 years, I guess. Um, and um, it's moving along very well. I'll show you what, I'm, what I've done. Uh, this, I've been at it for about two hours now. Um, all I have left is this right here. And uh, so I'll show you what I did. One, two, three treatment rooms, plus around the corner, hallway. One, two, three, four treatment rooms, or sleeping bedrooms, actually. And then this area in here. And, of course, this area. And down here, there's actually a, I did a doctor's office here, a doctor's office here. Didn't do this one. Another office in here, an office in here, office in here, office in there, and of course this hallway. Oh, yeah. And um, so I'm at the last section, as it were. And I've used, I filled my tank uh, three gallons. Well, actually, one of those jugs. That's what I used. And I'm almost empty. Got enough just to do this. So, and I used it at six ounces per gallon. And um, so that's 18, about 18 ounces or so. And then uh, I've used this much of what's been in this trigger spare of my suspend. And I'm gonna use a little bit more in here. Now in this recep reception area, which is really beat down, um, I'm gonna go over it first with the Rubbermaid <clears throat> with the AstroTurf because I think it has, well, it does have a good scrubbing anyway. Now, in the past, I've actually always done this with a fiber pad, and I did bring one up, but I've been really quite thrilled with the way these Rubbermaid pads are working, um, and I haven't, I've hardly used my fiber pads at all since I kind of discovered these things, or rediscovered them, I guess. So I used to use them years ago, but anyway, we're all curious to see how this all works out. So um, anyway, um, just, a, just a thought. Um, one of the reasons uh, when I've been putting up my videos, I've, I've really been kind of conscious of <clears throat> the fact that um, the, a lot of people that watch our videos, for those of you who are posting videos about carpet cleaning, <clears throat> I think one of the things we have to always bear in mind is that we are having an effect or an influence. Ooh, that was uh, this area here. On, um, you know, you guys getting into the business and... Um, I think that we have a degree of accountability for the uh, things that we're saying, things that we're suggesting um, on our videos. And that's one of the reasons why, and you've heard me say it before, and I don't know, here he goes again, talking about the um, products that we're using, um, that we be aware of their um, um, potential problem health causing problems that they might have and if you go and look up whatever product that you're recommending you know, you know the health rating or whatever there's some of these products that we are recommending that really aren't uh, good things to be exposing ourselves or anyone else to over a long period of time so I have a suggestion about that, that if, if, if that's what they're going to do, it, it probably would be wise, I think it would be wise to uh, at least give people a heads up about that, just let them know that if, whatever you use, my, my suggestion is to somebody, if you're looking to use a product, look up the health rating on it, look up the SDS sheet, understand what it is that you're cleaning with, and exposing yourself to. 
because I have been in business long enough that I've known guys that have uh, had failed with, uh, you know, what cancer and things like that. Uh, and, you know, back years ago, decades ago, one of the things that was that people were exposing themselves to in the business was the carbon tip chloride uh, solvents, which worked exceedingly well at removing certain stains. But, uh, and, and guys were using them, using this all over the place. And, uh, and unfortunately, it turned out that it was uh, a known carcinogen. And uh, I've known guys, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of the guy uh, in my mind right now. You know, copper cleaners in their 40s and 50s that came down with some pretty nasty stuff and, and passed away. And I think that as, as we are posting these videos, we need to remember that we're, so some of these guys out there that are watching these videos are going to take everything we say as the gospel truth. I'm not saying that, you know, nobody's doing this intentionally, but just, I think that it's, it really reflects on the industry that um, we need to be careful then to at least give a disclaimer that if you're going to use something, whatever it may be, be aware of what you're using and its potential that it might be a harmful thing over the long run. And at least, uh, you know, warn those who might be using them that uh, so that they're, they're informed. I think, that's a, I think that's the right thing to do. That's the fair thing to do. It's the, uh, and I think it's the responsible thing to do. I think that we owe it to, to, our, to ourselves and to this industry and to anybody that might come along and maybe want to we get into this business. We need to let them know there's, there's things we need to be aware of. I think that's the right thing to do. Anyway. I know, I mean, I'm not saying that because I want to be argumentative or, uh, you know, cause a problem with Kenny, but I, I, I want to not, there not to be a problem. That's, that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm saying it. It's, we need to, uh, always be given the best advice possible. And I think that the best advice is always going to be, um, be aware of what is a good thing and what is a less less than a good thing. Okay, let's have a look at the pad. It's actually warm. <laughs> so anyway, there's a fair amount of soiling on there. But as I've said, I don't think these have quite the ability to absorb as the 100% uh, rayon, rayon ones do. <clears throat> so, we're going to go with the rayon one, rayon polypropylene, and then we'll go over this whole area again. Interesting again, you can see it literally turning white underneath this pad. That's interesting. I hope that anybody who is watching this uh, 
I, I'm not. I'm not meaning to be antagonistic or uh, or whatever about this. I, I just. I think it's the wise thing to do. And I think we need to be. Um, I guess the thing is, um, we need to remember that we are our brother's keeper, and if we're going to give advice and recommendations, we need to consider the the implications of what this advice means for others down the road. And uh, if we're going to say, go ahead and use such and such, and it's got a health rating of three or more, well, at least let people know that. That's what I'm saying. The cleaning product I'm cleaning with right now, the Revive Rocket, has a health rating of zero. And so does the, uh, the Nanomax, which I normally use. Um, for residential, and you know that you can't get better than that. I do that partly because of my own health, but also for me anyway. This is the kind of cleaning products that my customers generally um, are expecting, and I guess are demanding even. I have, we have many times that we have people calling up up and uh, they ask us, you know, what are you cleaning with? Is it safe? What's the health rating? <laughs> Does it have an odor? Uh, these are the questions that I deal with anyway. And uh, those are good questions. And we can answer that with a completely confidence that, yeah, I'm using the very best, safest products that are available. We can do that. So I think the, the uh, point of this video is um, that we need to remember that we are our brother's keeper. And we need to be uh, always uh, encouraging uh, provide healthy choices in our videos because we are having an influence upon uh, new guys coming into the business and uh, we don't want to be uh, recommending things now that you know 10 or 20 years down the road or we discover it cause other harm at the very least have the disclaimer and, re re and you know remind people that you know, this product that I'm using here's the you know pros and cons of it because uh, often there are pros and cons and sometimes the cons are pretty bad <laughs> anyway I know I tried this course a lot but uh, it, it is one of my greatest concerns for this industry and particularly with the Obviously, because I'm using the VLM set method, I, I really want to hope that this will become known as the, as the real true uh, you know, quality, performance, uh, and, and just the overall attitude of uh, really being a, the premium methodology that people would use. So, yeah, that's kind of my thing. Anyway, let's have a look at this pad. I actually think I might do a B-side here. Maybe, I have a feeling. Yes, I think it will. Again, it's, it's warm. The pad is warm. It's not hot, but it is warm. So let's just do a B-side. I got it there anyway. So let's take a, a few more seconds. Not a big deal. I'm almost done. This is the last. This job took me, it's taken me basically just over two hours. Oh, I'm almost out. There's maybe the last few dribbles in there. looking pretty good. When it dries, it's going to look really good. 
partly because uh, this has peroxide in it. So that'll brighten it a little bit. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> anyway, have a good day.